fishing report for uh, this week uh, after Father's Day uh, wind was up rock and roll all week long with uh, dirty conditions from rain rain ruins the flat I uh, was able to jump a fish out on the beach early on when there was tide and uh, you saw that in a few of the earlier takes so um, went back today I wasn't even gonna fish that's uh, the previous video of this morning's catch uh, but I don't lay in bed I gotta get up I gotta do something so what am I gonna do it's my day off I'm gonna go fishing so I'll go check it out even if the tides are bad so this morning the conditions were excellent uh, I love walking out I, the first few casts are so dynamic coming off the uh, the St. Croix right now I've got a new fly rod on order uh, I can't wait to uh, inspect it it's an older Scott and um, we're going to be going over a few of uh, my equipment today uh, if you subscribe and if you start maybe even tying my fly or buying my fly one or the other you're going to be more successful and uh, you got to get tuned in to what it is I'm doing I'm fishing every day I watch the first weather I want to know what the conditions are for fly fishing on the flat and then tide I want to know where I am on the flat so uh, weather and tide the first things I look at make my plan for that day so I had one for today I, I was going to go right back to where the fish were uh, I fish a trough and uh, I like the fact that a trough they'll be there on two tides probably they'll be there on the beginning of the incoming and they'll be there towards the end of the outgoing it's just a place where the avenue where they travel and it's an avenue where the bait enters the flat so I'm fishing a trough and uh, I couldn't even see bait this week and I had to rely on knowing where it, where it usually is we had a west wind and today west wind with no rain all day yesterday cleaned up the flat and must have been another big school of reds sitting there waiting so um it's being able to put a cast right where they should be every time i put a cast out and i strip i i have the feeling that there's a big fish there's a fish there waiting for me and sure enough today 10 minutes into my fishing uh i changed direction a little bit and laid one out and you see bowed up to that really nice fish right in the pocket so uh let's go over my bag it's time for a new bag here's my old bag it's pretty soft at this point this whole I usually use hemostats because they're really light but I found this pair of uh, sea strikers and they have good cutters and they're aluminum and they don't seem to bind up so let's hold on to those they're always on a lanyard you don't want to drop them in the water so uh, we'll put the sea strikers on a new lanyard This one. And then we have a pair of Orvis stainless steel nippers on a lanyard that come in handy. I'll take those off. And we're going to add those to the new bag. These bags are like really cheap, like 14 bucks. It's a 
just a vest comes with some fishing tools which I don't need other than my leader my pliers and my nippers so. Well, I'll get this set up here in a second. These have to be ready to go. So... Probably right here off the front. I'm gonna attach the nippers. And they drop in the bag with the leader. Use a heavy line for a stringer because you don't want it to foul with your fly line. So, got some stringer material here. Strikers on there. All right, conditions. It's been really hot, it's, but it varies. Like some mornings will be 72 after a rain, and then the next morning it's like 83, but the flat's still really cool from, I don't know, cloudy conditions in the morning. So we're going to come over here and put this on the other one. These have to be ready accessible to get out and do their business. Okay, drop that in your bag. And then, of course, the fly. So that's all I got. That's all I take out. So that bag, this bag here is trash or somebody else's bag, spare. And the new one, we'll put the flies here. I've come to believe that the fishing is not only me knowing where the fish are, but uh, it's putting these flies out at first thing in the morning when there's nothing else there and they, they see these flies. and. That looks like a pinfish to them, and uh, it's deadly. You hook up automatically. So that's my little recap for the this week. Next week there's smooth conditions, and hopefully about.